business like show business like Hoping to top the league tonight are first hosts, drama teacher Joe and her theatre manager husband of eight years, Rupert. Come on, do warm up. I think Joe can be bossy at times. We met as I started working with Joe. And so, I was his boss then. And she was my boss. So I've so. carried on, just bossing. She couldn't ever turn it off. <laughs> oh. Oh. Do you feel like you're swallowing a tomato? No. When she's not bossing, this couple like to trot the globe. We love travelling, going on holiday. Yeah. It's my favourite thing to do. In fact, I book holidays whilst we're on holiday. But the next one, because I love making memories on holiday. Yeah. <laughs> By looking at your phone and booking the next holiday. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, nothing like getting away from it all. On with the and on with their day. What's in store, guys? Our evening tonight is all about us and the things we enjoy and love. So holidays, travelling and sci-fi. Didn't see that last one coming. They're kicking off with a holiday favourite, feta wrapped in phyllo pastry with a Barcelona salad. I don't know what constitutes a Barcelona salad. I'm intrigued by that as she well. She stirred it with maracas. <laughs> Meet our second couple. Suck it in. Amateur drag queens Aaron and River, who've been together for six years. Well, that's never going to fit. I'm the fun one, you know, I'm sort of fun and happy and chilled and all of these things, and he tells me to, t to turn the volume down. I think I'm fun as well, but you can be a little bit more... Erratic no fun. A bit. No, yeah. no one would say you were I, fun. I rein you in. I like this one because I feel very witchy poo in it. Exactly what I was thinking. I sometimes don't have much of a filter. I don't think we're rude, but if there's something worth discussing that might be a little bit taboo, we, we, we will. Mm. How very risky. And talking of risks, Joe and Rupert are cracking on with the first of tonight's three veggie courses. Hopefully tonight we'll be showing that vegetarian food is adventurous and that you don't need meat, hopefully. Vegetarian Rupert mixes dried herbs with feta whilst pescatarian Joe closely supervises. He oils phyllo pastry and tops with the cheese. Actually, I'd be quite happy if they served me vegetarian as a meat eater. Mm. Very gracious of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah! This week's final couple are fellow pescatarian Gemma and her meat-eating boyfriend Darren. We are really competitive. Yeah. I mean, we both come from quite sporty, competing backgrounds anyway. I always win, though. What, between the two of us? Yeah. I'm not sure. I was true. better at paddle boarding when we were on holiday. That one time. <laughs> <laughs> Competitive nature proved quite nicely there. Thanks. Back in the kitchen, Rupert folds the phyllo around the feta filling to finish off his parcels. Try saying that ten times. And that is a work of art. I think you'll agree. Yes, dear. Thank you, dear. In the fridge, dear, as they'll be cooked later. For the next course, Joe's in charge. I would describe my cooking skills as erratic. <laughs> 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 Who knows what may happen? Well, hopefully the main, at least. Mexican lasagna with esquites. Mexican lasagna, do you think that's... I mean, it's got the Mexicans starters. in it. No, but it does have onions, which are fried off with chilies, peppers, and mushrooms. Hopefully, the meat eaters won't even know there's no meat in it because it'll be tasty enough. I'm very happy to see in the main course, as well as the starter, that they're vegetarian. Being a well, vegetarian. Well, lasagna's not vegetarian. This one is, as it's made with soya mince and veggie stock. Amazing! That is now going to simmer for a little bit. So far, so good. What have we done? I've forgotten to put the garlic in. Spoke too soon. <laughs> I'm going to put it in now. In it goes, along with yeast extract, Worcestershire sauce and chocolate. Well, that is quite a combo. If it's Mexican, I'm expecting a lot of beans, like, you know... Yeah. Like... Or they're going to serve it in sombreros. <laughs> what, upside-down <laughs> sombreros? <laughs> yeah. No sombreros, but there are beans, and the mixture is layered in very large bowls together with tortillas, cheese and avocado. Come on, that's a heart. Sort of. The lasagnas go into the oven to bake, and it's on to their mysterious side dish. It's the esquits bit that I'm worried about. Yeah, I'm not I mean, sure I don't know how is. you say that, but it's, it's worrying. Well, it is when you say it like that. Esquites means toasted corn. 
That is a relief. The corn is unsurprisingly toasted and then mixed with coriander, feta cheese and a dollop of mayo. Let's hope we don't have the escuit <laughs> salsa. Yes, all right. Finally dessert, space station cake. Oh, these people are going to be garbage, aren't they? That immediately comes to mind, that popping candy stuff. Yeah, that would be good. <gasps> Why would you make a cake that looks like a space station? In terms of travel destinations, I would give anything out of space. He would. Time for liftoff. So I'm about to spray sponge fingers with uh, edible silver spray. At least I hope it's edible. Yeah, it's probably <laughs> edible silver spray. Yeah, why bother checking these things? It's good to be wearing that colour T-shirt. Et voila! Next, Rupert melts chocolate for the filling whilst Joe lines the sponge fingers round the cake tin. I think you'll need something to make those stick, you know. Oh, oh! <laughs> I'm not going to do it that way, all right? <laughs> Don't you want to put margarine in the thing? What? Margarine in the thing to stick it to. Oh, God, yeah! Oh, my God! Wait! Hold it for me! <laughs> I need to grease the tin! Well, I did say... <laughs> it's like nobody breathes. Ground control to Major Joe. Just get on with it, please. <laughs> Not finished yet. Egg whites, butter, chocolate and whiskey are mixed and plopped in. Good to go, then? Well, they're not particularly well painted, I've got to be honest. There's a few little spots. <laughs> it's supposed to look rustic. What space station looks rustic? That's a fair point. The cake goes into the oven. Oh, wait a minute, that's no oven. It's a frozen dessert rather than a baked cake, isn't it? Yeah. A frozen cake? Cosmic. They're off to get changed, leaving their guests to ponder the night ahead. 